everybody, this is Brian back with a Fetch AI uh, Fat Token update. You can, that's the four hour on the screen there. Still looking for that fifth wave extension up there uh, to the uh, 55 cent region that we haven't got yet. And we're down 3.9% as I'm making this video. And we're going to get a deeper look into this thing and see what's going on. But I have a couple really great articles you're not going to want to miss because they are, they're massive. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, please do. We'd love to have you here every day. We like to go over, uh, you know, we cover maybe 10 different altcoins. Not everybody holds just one crypto. So I like to cover a few different ones and... We would love to have you here every day. Going to do a 100 ADA giveaway here at the end of the month. And uh, we do a giveaway the last day of the month, every month. And all you got to do is be a subscriber to be entered. That's it. So, crypto rallies into the weekend. Bitcoin posts its best week since early of 2021. It says here, Bitcoin ended higher by 7.46% at $26,868, according to Coinmetrics. It posted a weekly gain of 34%. 34 percent that's huge and it's best week since january of 2021 which was right before the first bull run that year ethereum rose 3.87 percent to 1745 dollars for the week it ended up 22.88 percent its best week since august of 2021 so very good news there i'm not saying we're in a bull market at all i believe we're in a uh, bull trend right now but uh I don't believe we're in a bull market yet. So let's take a look here. Another big article. Crypto wallet prototype discovered inside Microsoft Edge browser. It says down here, according to screenshots shared on Twitter by Albacore, a pseudonym software researcher from Central Europe, Microsoft has added code that would integrate a non-custodial crypto wallet into the company's default Edge browser. And it goes on to say that they test many things that never see the light of day. But uh, I was wondering when Microsoft was going to make a move here in the crypto market. So good for them. The Crypto Fear and Greed Index, the market cap is up 1.18%. Volume is up 86.7%. Uh, hopefully that's buyers. Bitcoin dominance is down 0.53%. And we are at a 64 in greed for the market sentiment for the whole crypto market cap is one trillion one hundred eighty six billion dollars biggest gainers and losers are on your screen for the day and on the left at the top there look what's trending that's great to see bitcoin that's what you want to see we need uh bitcoin brings the buyers in the market that's for sure of course fetch it hasn't had a problem getting buyers that's for sure with all this ai stuff it's it's been doing just fine on its own now we've been talking about this five wave, five wave up that we've been uh, watching here. The three, the fourth wave pullback, and we still haven't got this extension on this thing yet. You can, you can see we still haven't taken out that third wave top there. So I, I totally believe we need, uh, we're going to finish this extension out. This is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Please do your own research when investing. So we are following this trend line just fine. We're holding support on this thing. You can see we started this trend line. We have came back and back tested it. Our four hour RSI is three quarters of the way down. The one hour is down at the bottom. So I expect there, uh, to, there to be a uh, jump here probably this evening or so. This is Saturday afternoon in the eastern United States as I'm making this video but uh, I totally expect there to be a, a move here today Bitcoin I want to show you it because we all know it ties into everything it hit its price target that we had for it it just nicked it actually all that air that it has coming up here is is unbelievable we talked about that yesterday look at this there's no resistance for that thing and it took full advantage of that you know i believe it still has some more room up here so we're going to keep an eye on that thing it back tested its move look at this look how beautiful of a back test this is it's just perfect uh perfect crypt perfect movement whatever you want to call it but look at this back test we had our high there bitcoin broke up out of it and look at this it came down and back tested it it just bounced right off it. Let me zoom in here. That's a beautiful back test. 
you know, and bounced strong too. It's it took off right up through here. So I'm gonna keep an eye on these charts the rest of the day, guys. Thank you so very much for watching my channel. I'm going to keep an eye on FET here because I believe we still need to finish that fifth wave up in the 50-some cent area before we make our move, mind up where we're headed next here. So everybody have a fantastic day. Thank you so much for watching my video.